I think it's interesting, once again, to note as we look back in time, not back enough to explore the, the theories of evolution, but just in previous generations, particularly in Asian cultures, it's fascinating to me to look at these cultures that have relied on plant proteins to various degrees, although I'm unaware of any that relied exclusively on them, like, for example, those who would make tofu. Um, it's interesting to me to note that around the world, South America or Asia, when they were when they were relying more heavily on plants, they would always engage a process of fermentation. Fermentation is so powerful because it makes food stuff much more absorbable. By fermenting the soy, for example, you have eliminated not only metals, but also anti-nutrients like the phytates and the oxalates, they get cut back. They get eliminated basically through the fermentation. And so now all of a sudden when you're eating that fermented plant matter, now you can in fact digest much, much more of it than you would have otherwise. So to me, there's an opportunity that if someone um, wants to or, or in their mind has to get their protein from plant sources, then my encouragement would simply to, to be eat it the way humans used to eat it, and in some places still do, get it from fermented sources. If it's not fermented, you're, you're, you're wasting a lot of money and you're getting a lot of stuff that you don't want. I, I have very strong feelings about it because I believe that whether it's deliberate or accidental, data has been horrifically misunderstood or, or even construed to fit an ideology. So a, a few things. In humans, we have zero, zero evidence that, that proves that protein consumption will, will reduce longevity. There's no conclusive evidence. We have correlational evidence that is all over the board, all over the board. Even Walter Longo's own work found that there was like during people's like or during their 50s, people who ate the most protein tended to have the highest mortality, which would fit that overall view that protein promotes mortality. But even in his own published data, at around the age of 60, 65, it went inverse. It flipped. And at that point, the people who ate the most protein had the lowest mortality. And that is a theme that has been published across multiple papers, particularly in, in, in the recent probably 10-ish years. So suffice it to say, the evidence on humans with protein and longevity is very, very complicated. And, and there's no evidence to, to suggest conclusively one way or the other. I would say that part of what's important, as you noted, is that the older we get, the more protein we need to sustain our lean mass. And muscle and bone mass is one of the greatest predictors of mortality. Inversely, people with the highest muscle mass are the least likely to die. Well, good luck maintaining muscle mass if you're not eating a lot of protein. Now, if we leave the humans to the side for a moment <clears throat> and we get more mechanistically into animal models that where we can control everything, we can measure them their entire life from the day they're born to the day they die. Animal models like mice who have a slight protein deficiency in their diet will live a little longer than the animals that have uh, ad libitum or free access to protein. That, so that supports that general idea. However, they also have almost no fertility. They do not reproduce. And, and that is sort of this irony that, yeah, sure, you can live longer, but you, what good is your life if you can't, you know, there's no family involved in this. Now, again, we have to be cautious trying to translate the animal studies to the human studies. And these animals are living in a perfectly controlled little box, literally their whole life. And so their muscle mass doesn't matter as much. They're not a human who's walking through the kitchen who stumbles and now has to grab the counter to stop themselves from falling. And if they don't have enough muscle mass, well, they didn't stop themselves. They hit their head, they broke their hip, and now they're going to die.